K Water is a public company specialized in water resources management. We provide various international water education programs for the developing countries to solve water related issues all around the world. Today, we will take a look at the overall information and application of smart water management technologies and a pilot project in Korea. Waterworks have been developing along with Korea's economic growth. Since the introduction of the modern water supply system in the early 1900s, water supply coverage has increased to 99% in 2010s with intensive investment. While the tap water quality in Korea is very good, the percentage of people using bottled water or household water purifiers is high due to distrust of water quality. This is because Water quality management in the distribution network is insufficient due to aging of pipes. The Ministry of Environment and K Water have found a solution to restore the confidence of the public in tap water. This is Smart Water Management. SWM is a scientific and comprehensive water quality management program that uses mainly ICT in real time. SWM is mainly introduced in areas with water complaint. The tap water supply can be monitored in real time. It can be responded to quickly if a sudden deterioration in water quality is recognized. Even a main water distribution line can be switched to a bypass with quick decision making. Smart Water City, or SWC for short, is a city where SWM is applied to the existing water supply system. Therefore, a smart water city can be understood in a broader concept more than smart water management. Smart water management in Korea is a brand model of K Water that has successfully been carried out through a pilot project for in Paju City since 2014. It has been introduced to Sejong City, where Korea's government complex is located, and Eco Delta City in Busan. In fact, the quality of Korea's tap water has reached a global standard thanks to the introduction of the advanced water treatment process. However, there are still great concerns about tap water contamination that may occur during water transfer due to aging pipes and water tanks. Only 49.4% of Koreans consume tap water as drinking water. The SWM project is one of Korea's national Green New Deal projects. It is being promoted from 2020 to 2024. By introducing innovative technologies and services to the water supply infrastructure through the SWM project, new jobs are expected to be created from the development of related industries. In addition, SWM may prevent and minimize accidents or damages with intermittent water supply time, directly increased the number of people drinking tap water, and increased revenue water ratio which will naturally improve the reliability of tap water. If SWM is activated, the domestic water industry, based on ICT technology, will become more invigorated and the market can be expanded. In addition, the integrated water supply system, based on real-time monitoring technology, will become the standard technology for innovation in the world's water industry. In this chapter, we will look into the element technologies that make up SWM. SWM project can be divided into five categories, water quality control, water quality monitoring, crisis response, recurrence prevention, and trust building. The water quality control, which establishes preventive systems for areas with low water quality, such as rechlorination facilities and microfiltration devices. The water quality monitoring, which monitors water quality changes in real time, uses an automatic water quality measuring device. The crisis response, to secure critical time with rapid initial response, in case of an accident, the system initiates pipe cleaning, automatic drainage, emergency water system conversion technologies. The resurrection prevention, for preventing secondary accidents caused as a result of missing the critical time 
and reinforcing water usage monitoring includes small quantity discharge and water pressure monitoring, smart metering, real-time water pressure gauge, smart pipeline facility information gathering system, water leakage monitoring sensor, water pressure remote control facility, and web-based GIS. Lastly, the Trust Building that provides better services to enhance trust in tap water contains water coordinator and doctor services and electronic boards for water quality display. Then let's take a closer look at major SWM technologies. Firstly, the Water Quality Control, which establishes preventive systems for areas with low water quality, uses rechlorination facilities and microfiltration devices. When chlorine is injected in the middle of the pipeline, residual chlorine, a disinfectant, is evenly maintained throughout the entire water supply process. It secures enough CT value, which indicates disinfection performance, to the end of the pipe for preventing potential recontamination of tap water due to microorganisms such as viruses and maintains stable water quality. Microfiltration devices are equipped to address local and periodic complaints caused by red water or particulates. Water quality complaint data and periodic water quality monitoring results are linked to GIS. It then performs a spatial analysis to select the most suitable site for installing the microfilter. The Water Quality Monitoring, which monitors quality changes in real time, uses an automatic measuring device. This device monitors the changes in the pipeline through a connected integral control system and gives alert when abnormalities are detected. It is usually installed at a representative point where the water quality of the water supply area should be monitored. The crisis response to secure golden time with rapid initial response to the accident. There is pipe cleaning, automatic drainage, emergency water flow conversion, and remote control valve technologies. Automatic drainage is to detect changes in water quality in a pipeline and quickly discharges contaminated water. It is installed in areas where residual chlorine concentration is low in summer. Residual chlorine and turbidity frequently cannot meet the required standards at the end of the pipeline or congested section. The pipe cleaning prevents sediment or coating materials in the old pipe from leaking through the faucets. This technology is divided into air injection cleaning and pig cleaning. To select the best position, a spatial analysis is performed by applying GIS-based facility information, water quality complaints, and on-site survey results onto the pipeline net. The resurrection prevention component is to prevent secondary water quality accident through monitoring water flow. This divides the water supply area into smaller blocks, which are called districted meter area. In order to manage the water supply area in units of block, facilities to monitor water flow and pressure are installed. This allows us to quickly recognize any leaks that have occurred. In addition, it is possible quickly to predict and respond to the flow direction of the contaminated water when tap water deterioration or contamination occurs. Smart metering is a technology that uses digital meters and wireless communication technology to check water usage in real time. It has the effect of checking an area of water loss more quickly. It can also be installed in areas with meter reading troubles or for major customers to predict the section affected by an accident. In Korea, this system is also used for notification of health problems for seniors living alone. Smart metering technology is gradually expanding in Korea. Smart pipeline recognition system uses RF sensors to mark the location of underground water supply pipelines. By computerizing the locations of major valves and pipes, water supply facility management can be operated more systematically. The real-time water pressure monitoring utilizes a pressure sensor and wireless communication technology. These days, the problem of previous analog type pressure gauge has been improved. The latest digital type, combined with wireless transmission, has been developed and utilized. 
Maintaining the proper pressure is also effective in reducing water leakage. Lastly, the Trust Building Program provides customer-oriented services to enhance trust in tap water. It contains water coordinator and doctor services, electronic board, and public drinking fountain. Water coordinator refers to when a water quality manager visits the home and conducts water quality tests. Water doctor is a cleaning service for indoor pipes if there are water quality issues. The effects of the SWM program have been clearly confirmed through the pilot project in Paju City. Since 2014, K-Water pushed for the three-phase project in Paju City near Seoul. The SWM element technologies described above were installed and operated. In a survey conducted when the project was completed, the direct drinking ratio of tap water in Paju City improved from 1% to 36.3%. In addition, the satisfaction level of tap water also rapidly increased, which was an opportunity for the project to expand to Busan and Sejong City. In the survey about, will the SWM project help improve tap water quality? 93.8% of citizens answered affirmatively. SWM is no longer a pilot project in Korea. With the development of smart cities, smart water management is emerging as an essential future technology for water supply. So far, we've learned about the basics, the overall context, and the application cases of smart water management. Thank you.